What's going on everybody? So I've been getting a lot of questions about how you should start off with Madden 18 Ultimate Team And if you're new uh, like some of the people that have been asking me questions I'm gonna go ahead and break down some things for you over the last couple years uh, A lot of the traits and attributes of these players haven't really mattered much um, As far as the gameplay that we've seen released by some of these other youtubers that were able to get early gameplay footage um a lot of the zone coverages and things like that are not really up to par right now, but according to people at EA Sports, they're going to be tuning it to make it a little bit better the way they break on the ball for more elite corners and obviously the legend corners. Now, if you've already pre-ordered the Gold Edition um, and you don't know which legend to choose, we're gonna, I'm going to break down Deion Sanders right now in comparison to the core elite Jalen Ramsey. Now, you can see obviously he's faster um, by plus one speed, but the biggest thing about Jalen Ramsey his hit power and his block shedding. Now, um, it, it's it's last year was more of a thing where dudes will probably come out. You've probably heard of this defense, dollar DB fire two press. Um, it was probably the biggest w widely used community defense in Madden 18, next to Nickel Blitz. Pretty much a, a, a defense with three down linemen and uh, all like ridiculous. What did it have? One, two, three, like five. Uh, you know, uh, core cornerbacks or safeties or whatever it is. You know, the speed, the speed people. You know what I'm saying? Like the dudes that have like 180, 190, they were able to block shed and come right in on a dollar and they were locking up every run, locking all the skill positions. Not not the, like the D lineman that's down there. You have three down linemen and everybody else pretty much, you know, the two linebackers, everybody else was, uh, you know, speed position. So the other six, right? Um, this year, they're saying that weight is going to matter. Strength is going to matter. Things like that. If you guys watched a lot of the competitive series, you probably saw the Deion Sanders block shed the fattest lineman in the world just come right in and sack the quarterback. Yeah, I know it made no sense and we had to deal with it for the entire year, but I think EA is saying that they noticed that and they're going to be you know, paying attention to it this year, which is very, very good. So if you look at it from that aspect, if you've already ordered the GOAT edition, right? Because like, let's, let's just be real. What's the chance that you're going to pull Jalen Ramsey? You know, I know it looks stupid. That, what is he, an 85 overall uh, card and he's elite? I think he would have been a gold last year. But whatever, that's not the point. What is the chance that you're going to pull this guy? More than likely, you're going to have to buy him. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to have to either grind with solos or do whatever you else, uh, whatever you guys do to get coins. Um, the safer choice would probably be Deion Sanders. And I'm going to tell you why. Regardless of what you're being told about the game, certain things are just going to be what they are. Um... The one thing, though, is the hit power. You're probably not going to force fumbles with Deion Sanders if you click on and hit him, if you keep him at an outside corner. If you blitz him, he might get more fumbles than other players. And you may laugh about that and say, bro, bro, his hit power is mad low. I know that. Think about it like this. In Madden 17, uh, Sean Taylor, the GOAT Sean Taylor, he had, the, the, the Sean Taylor I was using was like the limited, one of the last cards they put out for him, he had like a 99 hit power. The dude never forced a fumble when I blitzed him out of my, uh, you know, when I was blitzing him off the edge. I put Deion Sanders in with a lower hit power. He forced more fumbles. So what I'm saying is, I don't know what the science is behind it. And obviously we're going to frostbite, but I'm not really, frostbite is just more of a, a pretty look at me type of thing with the engine. As far as gameplay goes, it, it did look a lot more fluent to me, but it looks like a lot more of the same as far as what goes on in 17. So I wouldn't really, uh, you know, recommend you taking Deion Sanders over Jalen Ramsey if there was a way you could get Jalen Ramsey. So if that answers your question, um, you know, it, it it makes more sense to go with the safe thing. Like if you if you want to be safe, right? For instance, I got a rookie premier player, right, in Lattimore. Lattimore doesn't really have hit power, but he's 88 speed. So already I got a corner that's going to be able to keep up with most of, you know, whatever's going on, whatever receiver they have, uh, unless you have like, you know, one of those speedy guys, I know the Kansas City guy's pretty fast, and I don't know what John Ross is going to be yet, um, I think he's pretty fast as well, but he'll be able to keep up as far as Madden scientific, um, you know, like the way that their physics works and the way that they slide in, because a lot of that stuff is still in the game from what I've seen with the gameplay, I don't think that, it's, it's a forced interaction animation where they, they just latch on, and it's, it's very, very unrealistic, and I think in the future, they'll go away from it. But right now, I don't think they really grasp the concept that it doesn't make any sense for if someone is getting beat deep for them to be able to like warp into the other player. I don't, I don't really get that. Um, I think it might be necessary maybe, uh, you know, to, to plan to try to figure out if I can speak with some of the developers more on a one-on-one -on -one basis to actually show it to them and make them visibly see it, that it just doesn't make any sense. And in previous Maddens, it never used to happen. So. 
even with his 86 speed, I think if you zone Dion in the right uh, format, he will still stay with whatever speed the receiver is. I'm just going based off of logic that was in Madden 17. Um, and again, from what I've seen with uh, these these videos that I've watched with these other YouTubers that have, you know, they got the early gameplay capture, it doesn't look like it's gone anywhere. So the only thing that, the, the only problem that I have with when you compare these cards and the questions that you guys are asking me is, what are you looking for? If, you know, with me, I would want Jalen Ramsey over Deion Sanders for just this one reason. Solo-wise, he's going to probably force more fumbles. You know, like if you click on him, you get a hit stick, you line it up, you're going to get more fumbles. Deion is not going to hit him in that format if you have him on the outside. Now, if you're blitzing from the jump, Deion will be your guy, but then you'll need another corner. Because, you know what I'm saying, he's not going to be on the outside. You could obviously, uh, you know... Put him in, sub him into free safety or strong safety, blitz him off either side. He doesn't have to be a corner on the edges. So, you know, when you think about it like that, it pro he probably will be more used to a guy, you know, that, that blitzes like that, that subs him in as free safety and blitzes him like that, as opposed to a guy that keeps him on the outside like I would do. Like Jalen Ramsey is an outside corner. He's a guy that's going to definitely make somebody put the ball on the ground. But again, as far as what I've been seeing and uh, what I'm being told, a lot of the things that we've saw that we've seen in the videos are going to be toned down. So ultimately, whatever cards you're thinking about using, because there's not really um, there's not really a lot of cards that you can that you can go with to start. As far as you know, look, most of you guys already pre-ordered the Gold Edition. So if you already pre-ordered the Gold Edition and you're thinking about like what should I do, you've obviously seen that the uh, the juke moves and the elusiveness is OP in Madden 18, so you'd probably think about a Barry Sanders. I wouldn't go with Tom Brady. I really just wouldn't waste it. Uh, I wouldn't waste it on Ray Lewis. Um, you know, so, and Jerry Rice, I don't know about him either. Even though these these legends are upgradable, according to what I've read, it's still something to where, I don't know if to start the year you want to go with anything other than Deion Sanders or Barry Sanders, if that makes any sense. So, if you don't want to have to worry about, um, you know, taking out a second mortgage to get packs, because I really, I really doubt that there's going to be, unless, they, unless they're being more generous with the packs, I don't see a lot of people having Jalen Ramsey off the jump. And I see him as being very, very pricey to start the year just because of his mixture of speed and hit power. You know, his pursuit, his tackling, his press. Oh, he's, a, he's a card that will probably last the first half of Madden 18. Like, when you see this card in the field, you already know. The dude is going to stay with you all the way down the field. doesn't matter what you do. And if you you know, you know try to run into him, he's going to hit you and, and your brain's going to fall out. That's pretty much where it is. So, um, legend players-wise, we, we're going Deion's. I'm going to give you, the, like, from everything that I've seen. I've been The reason that I've been taking my time to watch some of these videos um, is to make sure, because I know, based on the format of what I'm seeing, what's going to be happening. The aggressive catch is still in the game, so you, you, it doesn't matter who your corner is. People are going to get wild and ridiculous animations. My biggest thing is, can these corners now strafe? You see what I'm saying? That, that's the key thing. Can they strafe? If they can strafe and stand up straight and not slide around, that's a big win for EA. And I know a lot of people are very, very upset about the way it looks. And, you know, even on Twitter, guys are like, yo, what, the, what is this? Why do they keep recycling this garbage? We have to see what it is first for ourselves because remember who's playing the game. These are influencers. These are not guys that are looking to get the best out of the game and really grind for the most part. You know, this is, these are guys that, you know, they're casual players in my opinion. Like, they're not going to go out there and just be doing whatever. Like, they, listen, it is what it is. But I don't think that it was tuned to make it more difficult for those guys. Does that make any sense? Like, why would EA make it tuned uh, to be hard for guys that are coming out to be influencers, to be make it fun and make young kids uh, want to buy the game. That That's my thought process. I don't know. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm thinking. So as far as tuning goes and what they're planning on doing, a lot of the things that you've seen and that I've seen is probably going to be changed. But the safe choice is probably going to be to go with Deion Sanders just to start the year. If you're lucky, because sometimes it's better to be lucky and good, You everybody needs a little bit of luck. If you're able to get Jalen Ramsey, yo, you won't really need to do much else after that. As far as you can find any other, like you're going to have one side of the field locked down as far as hit power and always being able to force a fumble and things like that. Don't worry about his catch rating. Deion Sanders catch rating being higher. I wouldn't worry about that. They're going to pick the ball regardless or they're going to drop the ball regardless. I wouldn't worry about that too much. But safe choice, even though it's a very, very tough choice, I would probably have to take one of the Sanders, either Deion or Barry. If you want me to compare 
the running backs, you know, the, uh, Barry Sanders to another running back that I think would be a much uh, better use, let me know, leave it in the comments and I'll get to it. But as far as cornerback goes, which is the primary, the primary thing, because people don't want to get Moss, I don't think it really makes much of a difference. And the safe choice to probably save you spending my money on packs would be Deion Sanders. Until next time, one love.